So go ahead and bend your knees, bring the feet flat on the floor. And as always, we're gonna start with connecting to and regaining control of the low back and the low abdominals, right? They go together. So that low belly pooch that some people might be noticing, especially as they go on in uh, decades, right? That is connected to what's happening in the back of your body, right? Tension in the back, loss of control in the front, right? So they work together. We're looking to regain control. So can you imagine here that your pelvis is a bowling ball? Okay, so it's got a little weight to it. Let's play with that weight. Can you press the bowling ball straight down? And then release. Try that a few more times, gently pressing the pelvis down into the floor. Is your bowling ball pressing right into the center or is it a little off? in some direction, just notice. So press and release one more time so you understand in your brain what that feels like. Good, and then let it go. So this time we're gonna start to move. Can you press the bowling ball into the floor? Inhale, roll that bowling ball towards your heels towards your toes, right? So we're arching the back. Pause here. Pause here. Connect to the small arc that is happening in the back of the body, right? So the back, the low back is moved away from the floor. What is happening in the front of your body? Can you allow your low belly to be soft and lengthen? Slowly let that go. Taking that again, press the pelvis into the floor. Inhale to lengthen the belly as you roll the bowling ball towards the tailbone. This does not need to be big. It needs to be controlled. Are you in full control of your pelvis and the spine? The head may move along for the ride. It's all connected. Slowly let that go. Nice. Take that two more times at your own pace. Noticing what's happening in the center of the body as you do this. Is your head moving? And if not, why not? What's holding it back? Good. When you're done, just place your hands on your low belly so I know you're finished. There's no rush. I just want to kind of know what's, what's going on. Then. Okay, cool. So since your hands are on your low belly, let's let's keep them there. Move them right down to your low belly. And if you want, you can even kind of make a little a little diamond shape. So your thumbs are together and you're Pointing fingers are pointing down to your pubic bone, so the, the triangle of your front of your pelvis. Okay, so it's like this. And it doesn't really matter if your hands are like that or not. So we're working to find neutral, right? So you're neutral. So at the moment, right, we're, 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 we're resting in your neutral. There's a gentle little weight in the pelvis. The low back is a little light off the floor to some, some extent. So let's use our muscles now in the front and just see what's, what's up with this. So to connect to the deep core, right, we, we, we work through the breath. 
and the breath helps trigger contraction in the in the deep core. So I want you to imagine that you are fogging up. You have a mirror right in front of you and you're gonna fog it up, right? To write your initials in it, or you're gonna clean your glasses. So when you do that, there's a right? There's a, con a contraction or a restriction in, the, in your throat and you exhale out. Okay, so let's, let's put the breath together and I want you to notice what's happening underneath your hands. Take an in-breath here. As you exhale, fog up the mirror. So I want to, if I was there, I would hear you breathing. I would hear an exhale. Notice what happens underneath your hands. Good. And then completely let that go when you're done your breath. Notice what happens underneath your hands. Let's try that again. Take an in-breath. Your hands will rise. Exhale, fog the mirror. The hands should lower down. Your low abdominals should contract, moving down towards the floor. Good. Let that go. So do that a few more times. If the low back is restrictive and tight, this will be hard to do. So notice as you're exhaling, can you keep your back soft? This can be a lot of mind over matter. Uh, for someone who's a green light, right, go. Um, they use their back for everything. We don't need your back right now. Can you quiet the low back and find the low front? So you might notice if we're going back to that bowling ball analogy, that the bowling ball kind of sinks heavier down towards the mat as you exhale, yeah? And then let's play with moving the bowling ball, but initiating it this way, okay? So on your next exhale, find that fogging of the mirror, right? And then we're gonna think of rolling that bowling ball towards your belly button. We're only going to where the pelvis and the spine meet, right? So we're just looking to lengthen the low spine into the floor. So we're making a little bit of a, it's like a little bit of a J almost. I kind of think of the abdominals, they kind of move down and then they kind of move up towards the nipple line, right? So it's a little kind of hollowing out in the front body as the pelvis moves, let that go. full control of the move. Take an in-breath to prepare. Exhale, fog up the mirror. Can you find those low abdominals and let that initiate the roll of the bowling ball? So the waistband of the pants becomes heavy. Is your bowling ball going right down the center or is it veering a little? Right, just notice. Slowly control the release. Right, so the belly softens, the bowling ball rolls back to your neutral. Can you let the low belly go completely? Completely. Take that two more times. Inhale here, exhale, fog the mirror, roll the, rolling, uh, roll the bowling ball. Can you connect to this hollowing out sensation in the abdominals or in the belly? Good, let that go. Last time. Good, and let that go. Being aware of your bowling ball, can you slide your legs along the floor? And just extend the legs, just take a moment. What wants to happen in the pelvis to do that? 